let's move ahead. How, how, how does your philosophy translate itself into the world of politics? Now, one of the principal achievements of this country in the past 20 years particularly, I think most people agree, is the gradual growth of social protective legislation based on the principle that we are our brother's keepers. How do you feel about the political trends of the United States, the uh, Western world? The way everybody feels, except more consciously. I feel that it is terrible, that you see destruction all around you, and that you are moving toward disaster until and unless all those welfare state conceptions have been reversed and rejected. It is precisely these trends which are bringing the world to disaster because we are now moving towards complete collectivism or socialism, uh, a system under which everybody is enslaved to everybody. And we are moving that way only because of our altruist morality. Ah, yes, but you say everybody is enslaved to everybody. Yet this came about democratically, I, and the free people in a free country voted for this kind of government, wanted this kind of legislation. Do you object to the democratic process? I object to the idea that people have the right to vote on everything. The uh, traditional American system was a system based on the idea that majority will prevail only in public or political affairs, and that it was limited by inalienable individual rights. Uh -huh. Therefore, I do not believe that a majority can vote a man's life or property or freedom away from him. Therefore, I do not believe that if a majority votes on any issue, that this makes the issue right. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm tickled pink that things are rosy and skies are blue once again. Let the bygones go bye bye. No more will I sigh or cry. Do, 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 do.